Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. We're here with a little travel tip for you today, a little security travel tip, and uh, that's how easy it is to get into a locked suitcase that has a zipper. And uh, you may have seen this before, it's been around for a couple years now, floating around the internet, but we've never really drawn any attention to it ourselves on ITS, and I really want to present this information because a lot of people don't know about this, and I think that uh, it's important to know how easy it is, even if you have a locked suitcase, how someone can get into it with nothing more than a ballpoint pen. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is a, a TSA lock, and while these little locks are nothing special in themselves, it's very easy to even get into one of these. You don't even have to do that. You don't have to mess with a lock at all. So basically the way the zipper is, is when it comes together, it gives you a place to lock this at. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this lock. So that's locked now. So all you have to do is grab a pen, like so, and you're just gonna jab it into the zipper, just like that. And once you break the zipper, all you have to do is open the suitcase up. So now I'm into the suitcase, and I've got your gun, and all your valuables that you thought were secure. And to make it look like I've never been in there before, all I've gotta do is grab this lock and the zipper mechanism, Zip it all the way to the other side. And zip it right back around. And now it looks like I've never been into the suitcase. The zipper's still perfect. There's no perforation in the zipper anymore. And it looks like no one's even tampered with your suitcase. So, um, so some things you can do about this. Um, obviously, anytime you travel with a firearm, um, TSA and the airlines all specify that you need to have a lockbox. And uh, that's an article we have coming up too. I actually travel with some lockboxes and I'm going to showcase on, on ITS2 and kind of show you how those work. But essentially it's got a locking cable on it. It's got a cable that basically feeds through the, uh, the case that you have your firearm in. Well, they could always cut the cable and things like that. It, obviously you, all you're doing with security as a whole anyway is buying time. That's what you're doing with anything, whether it be an alarm system on your home or an alarm system on your car, you're buying time. You obviously, or you're trying to scare, you know, intruders away and things like that. So that's what it's doing, you know, having a lockbox, it's, it's, it's buying you time. So I'd highly recommend that you have some type of lockbox in any kind of travel suitcase you have for your valuables, um, whether it be firearms or whether it be jewelry or anything like that. So. Um, and one thing you can do too is you can, most suitcases have frames and so they have like, a, usually have a liner in them. So what you can do is actually feed that cable around um, the metal stanchions that typically run in the bottom of suitcases. So you can kind of loop that through and use that as an anchor point so that really someone would have to destroy the suitcase or cut the cable. So while technically someone could do that, it's, it's again just buying you some time. So. Um, you really want to watch it when you're traveling with suitcases and I know there's even some suitcases out there that that don't have zippers um, so you might want to look into something like that too for more security but you know essentially being able to just <laughs> stab a zipper with a uh, with a ballpoint pen is uh, is pretty scary stuff I mean it takes nothing to get into that so again you know the pen is mightier than the sword in this case so there you have it um, let us know if you have any questions or comments, and thanks for watching.